Tonight, a woman fights for her life after an attempted murder-suicide on the south side. We brought you this case as breaking news last night at 11. Police found her in critical condition and a man dead on Brookfield Drive. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Donaldson. I'm Debbie Knox. The victim's pet dog also died from injuries sustained in that attack. CBS 4's Courtney Crown explains why the pet's injuries are a red flag to victim advocates. IMPD found a man dead and a woman critically wounded in what they believe is a domestic-related attempted murder-suicide. Police records indicate law enforcement just visited this same home with the same victim listed three months ago today. At this point in time, we have absolutely no reason to believe that we have any ongoing threat to the public or that we have any suspect uh, that's at large. Police said the dog shot last night had to be euthanized due to the severity of its injuries. The shooting of the pet grabbed the attention of domestic violence victim advocates who acknowledged they don't know the full circumstances from this incident. But it's not uncommon, unfortunately, for partners causing harm to use that pet, to use that animal as a source of coercion for that survivor. Advocates say survivors will often stay in a situation if they have a beloved pet. Beacon of Hope, providing crisis services in Indy, offers a foster pet program to temporarily care for pets while their owners find safety. So making sure that, that animal is also safe can pose such a barrier for survivors in terms of seeking their own safety. Generally speaking, domestic violence victim advocates say a gun in the home significantly raises the likelihood of death in a volatile relationship, as does previous strangulation attempts by the abuser, increasing a victim's chances of being killed by 700 to 800 percent. So it is a very very dangerous situation if there's ever been any history of strangulation. Supporters say anyone who suffered suffocation attempts at the hands of a partner should reach out to an advocate ASAP, especially if the person is planning to leave. It is a time when violence can escalate and we do not downplay that at all. Advocates want survivors to know there are people who want to help them reach safety. Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News. Courtney, thank you. For any survivor in need of resources, we do have a list posted for you on CBS4Indy.com. Those experts can help you create a safety plan. This